Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be an express haul and it's going to be a try on haul. I think my last clothing haul was a Forever 21 haul. I did it like maybe a couple months ago and a lot of people were saying that I should have did a try on haul so I'm going to do a try on for this one. Now this is a collective haul from like the last month and a half I want to say. Some of these items are from the express factory outlet in um, Long Island some of these items are from Express's website, and then some of these items are from the Express in West Palm Beach. They have an outlet there, and then also from Boynton Beach's mall because they have an Express there. So it's definitely like a variety from all over the country, if you will. But I wanted to share with you guys what I got. I'd say most of this is considered spring clothing. There's some sweaters, but the sweaters are, I still consider spring because we um, really don't get spring anymore. Um, in upstate New York, it's still winter. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell down below. And without further ado, if you guys like to see what I got from Express, then just keep watching. So hopefully this video isn't going to be super long. I do have a lot of things to try on and show you. So so this first top is this nice floral blouse. I absolutely love it and it's sheer so I do have a black tank top underneath it. I'm going to zoom out now but it's got like a nice little like frilly thing going on right there and honestly you guys like you could wear this with jeans. I'm wearing this with black pants. I actually wore this to work the other day with my nice black work pants so you can dress it up you can dress it down it's really nice and i have another top it's the exact same top just a different color that will be next okay so this is the same top it's just like a nice light baby pink color now since it's sheer you do have to wear a tank top under it like i was saying i have a black tank top under it because that's what i was wearing under the last blouse but honestly i would probably wear just a white tank top because you can definitely see the black you can see my bra straps so i would wear either like a strapless uh white bra and tank top or just a white bra with a white tank top you guys get the gist of what i'm saying i love colors like this for the spring this is definitely a nice blouse for the spring i love it again i would definitely wear like white pants with it that'd be my first pick and also i should probably mention my pants are not from express they're actually from i believe these ones are from american eagle they're like a couple years old oh next is this dress it's the only dress that i did get from express and you can disregard my kind of pale legs they were tan a month ago um but not anymore because it's still winter here in new york but anyways i really like this dress it's nice and airy it's the same material as the blouse i was mentioning i actually didn't even realize because i did try this on uh that's like kind of like really low i usually don't wear things that low like you guys can see that right um i don't know if i would like maybe wear a tank top underneath it or just kind of like try to really conceal it so it stays you know where my boobs or cleavage isn't popping out. I don't have it zippered all the way in the back, but that's kind of like what it looks like from the side. I feel like this would be perfect for like any occasion. I could wear this to work. It's not like too, too short, but this would be nice for the spring and the summer in particular. It would be nice with wedges um, and a nice like maybe pearl necklace. I will definitely be wearing this if it ever gets warm outside. So again, this is my nice little pretty dress. The only dress that I got from Express. Okay, so next is this baby doll peplum top. I love tops that flare out that are like peplums or baby dolls. I love them. I know not everybody likes tops like that, but I just love peplum. So this actually does like tie in the back, as you guys can see. I actually brought this on vacation with me last month, but I never got around to wearing it. Um, and I just noticed, look how low it goes, but you can kind of like go like that. You just might have to keep doing it. It's a little loose up here, so it might kind of flop. But even though it does show a little bit of cleavage, it is kind of low cut. I still really liked it, so that's why I got it. And it kind of has, if you guys can see without me shaking the camera, it has like kind of big, you know, short sleeves right there. You kind of can maybe see into your armpit or whatever. But anyways, besides the point, I really do love this top. And I think it looks good with these black pants. Probably wouldn't wear it with jeans unless they were like darker. Um, probably just stick to like black pants. That's probably what would look the best with this top. Sticking with the baby doll theme is this baby doll tank top. I actually have it in another color, which you'll see next. But 
I love this tank top, you guys. I just love the whole baby doll. I just love baby doll tops, but besides the point, it's got like a nice little crisscross detail. It does go a little bit low, but I feel like I could still get away with wearing that. Um, I don't really like to wear things that go too, too low, as I was saying before, but um, this, you guys, and I feel like they might even have this on the website. I think I got this tank top and the other one for, I don't even know, maybe like $5. Like they were wicked cheap. So this is something that you could wear casually with jeans. You could even wear it with black pants, whatever. Honestly, you could even dress this up. You could wear it with wedges or you could dress it down, wear it with flip flops or whatever. So this is the black one. So this is the other color. It's like a kind of like a light purpley color. And you can see my black bra under it, if you guys can see. So I would probably definitely wear like a white bra. And it's kind of, I probably should have showed you a little bit close up, but the print on it, you guys can probably see. It's not like a solid light purple color, but I do like that. And uh, again, like this top was super cheap. I believe at the factory outlets, they had these, uh, these tank tops really cheap. And I like the little crisscross detail. This I would probably wear with white pants. I think it would look a little bit better with white pants. You could wear wedges with it, like I was saying before. These will definitely be get, getting utilized when I just need to throw something on to go somewhere. They're, you know, they're very comfortable. They're lightweight. So I really love them. Okay, so I think that this is going to be the last short sleeve top and everything else is going to be sweaters. But this is just a really nice, it's actually... I don't know, I, it's not like a sweater material, but it's not lightweight either. And it's got these nice big sleeves that are definitely in. This style is really in like with the big puffy sleeves. So I really love that. And this, I would definitely wear with white pants. That would be my first choice. And I would wear it with wedges. And then I put like a nice little statement necklace right there. And I think that would look super nice. I do love it. And I'm super pissed, you guys, because they had this in like a really nice like mauve pink color too. But of course, they did not have my size. And I probably should mention the sizes. Uh, if you guys are wondering, most of these shirts or these tops that I've already showed you are extra small. Some of the sweaters I'm going to get into are going to be probably smalls and then some extra smalls. But that's typically what I gravitate towards. So this, if I can look on the tag, this is an extra small. But the pink one was so nice, and I think they only had mediums. My size, like, I feel like they're always out in the extra smalls. But anyways, this was also, I believe, on the website, but it might be sold out. But I did get this at the factory outlet. So the last top I was talking about, the navy blue puffy short sleeve top. The pink color that they had was identical to this shade. I absolutely love this color. It's like a salmon pink color. But anyways, this sweater... I'm in love with. It is so comfortable, you guys. It's like that chenille material that's really popular now. I think all the sweaters that I am going to show you are that like chenille, 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 however you say it, material. So this, when I typically wear it, I do put a tank top under it because there are like kind of, if you guys can see, holes. But I mean, you don't need to wear a tank top under it. And also I wanna to mention too, I did change my jeans. These jeans and the jeans I had on before are from Fashion Nova, I think. And if I can find them, I will link them down below. I did get them a few months ago. But also these sleeves, they're very big. They're, um, I don't know, is that, cons no, it's not considered a bell sleeve because it doesn't flare out at the ends. But the, the sleeves are really big, but I do like it. And sometimes I have to like, kind of like roll the sleeves up because they do get in the way. But nonetheless, this is a beautiful sweater. And this, I think, is a size small, but I do have it in another color. The, the next color I believe is an extra small, so you guys will see that in a second. So yeah, this is the extra small because it is a little bit shorter and the sleeves don't go down as long. I I don't know why. I probably should have got an extra small in the pink one, but it's not like it's a huge, huge difference. Again, this is just super comfortable. This color is nice. It's different. I mean, it's not like a spring color, but you could still wear it for the spring. It's not spring here. As I mentioned 50 million times, you're going to catch me wearing stuff like this right now because it's like in the 20s and 30s still. But um, again, the material, it's just so nice and it's lightweight 
And the other thing I wanted to mention too is you kind of have to be a little bit careful with this material because I don't know if it's picking up. See the kind of pulls there? And I've only worn this like maybe once or twice. So I feel like with the Chanel material, you can get the pulls. So you kind of got to be careful. I can probably just take scissors and cut that off. But I figured I would mention that because I know that this material is popular, but you just kind of got to get be careful with it. Uh, because it can pull like that. I mean, I even see it pulling like on my chest, so I really have to be careful. Um, they might have this on the website. I did get this, I think I got this at the factory outlet. Nonetheless, it's a beautiful hunter green sweater, super comfortable, and I'm loving it. This would even be nice, honestly, around like the holidays to wear like around Christmas time. So this sweater I did get off Express's website. It was on sale. I think I purchased it about a month ago, but they still do have these on their website, and I actually have it in black as well. You guys will see that next. But it's just a really comfortable, warm sweater. It's very loose fitting. It does you know, I do wear a tank top under this when I do wear it, but I pull it up because I know it is kind of going a little bit low because it is a v-neck, but nonetheless, it's beautiful. Now this, it's that Chanel material again, like I was saying, but uh, it's a little different from the last two sweaters because the Chanel is woven more tightly, so there's not as many gaps or spaces. I don't think I have any pulls going on yet with this, and this is just feels a little bit heavier than the last two sweaters. So I actually lied, you guys. The last sweater and this sweater, they are size small. They're not extra smalls. I, I think like on Express's website, it'll tell you how it fits, but I knew that I wanted the sweaters to kind of be loose and not tight fitting. So I think I sized up to an extra or to a small, but again, it's the same exact material, same exact design. It's just in black. You have to have everything in black. It is a rule, um, but I really love it. It's just so comfortable and I could wear this all day long. Okay, so last but not least is this light purple. I think it's like a really nice color for the spring. This light purple Chanel sweater. Now this uh, Chanel sweater is a little bit heavier than the last two sweaters and it's the heaviest out of all the sweaters that I've shown you. It's really nice, it's so soft, but honestly you guys, I was actually thinking about returning this and you can probably guess why because and I put a tank top on to show you this goes really low and I don't like wear stuff like that no offense to any of you guys who do do that it's just I don't feel comfortable doing that so then I'm like well maybe I can just like you know kind of push it up like that but then it's like really short and then lawn in the back if you guys can see so that looks kind of weird so then I'm like well you know I'll keep it and maybe just like wear a tank top under it I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, I, again, I was gonna return it, but I'm like, you know what, let me keep it. I like how it's got the kind of baggy arms. Do you think it looks weird with the white tank top like that? Is there something else I should do? I mean, I don't know if like people like wear it off shoulder like that with a white tank top, that might look cute, but I don't even know if I wear things like that, like that, I mean. But, um, so yeah, I decided to keep it. I'll figure out how to wear it. Actually, it doesn't look bad like that. It's just, I don't walk around with like my shoulder hanging out. <laughs> All right, this video is getting kind of a little weird. So yeah, this is definitely on their website. Um, I got this with the other two sweaters online. So if they still have it, I will link it down below. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this Express Try On haul. Hopefully you guys liked it and it was okay with me filming it in front of the mirror. I'm a one woman show. I don't have somebody filming things for me. And also I have a whole bunch of Charlotte Russe sweaters and tops and I don't know. Yeah. And a couple dresses as well. I'm going to be doing a video similar to this one for all those clothes, but that will probably be up definitely after this video because I'm going to film it next weekend. But anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and hopefully spring is coming to you guys soon. That's what my backyard looks like. That's why right now, even though it's March, I'm wearing sweaters like this, but hopefully spring is coming to you guys soon. But anyways, that is it for this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.